How's it going guys? This is me, Savage EXE, and today I'm going to show you how to how to install and modify drivers for the GTX 770M on the HP EliteBook 8760W. So first, we're gonna start off by we're gonna unzip this with 7-zip. <clears throat> Some of the things that you're gonna have to have to edit these drivers is that you gotta have 7-zip or WinRAR or something to extract files and stuff like that. But then you're also gonna have to have Notepad++. I'll put links to those in the description down below. So, we're gonna go ahead and extract these files. And I hope it doesn't put everything on the desktop. That would really suck. Okay, done it. That's good. So, this is it right here. I'm just gonna extract that. But I'm gonna skip to the end because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see this whole thing extract. So then after you are done extracting everything, you go into here. Go to display.driver, which is right here. And then you look for NVAMI. So this is it right here. And then from there, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So you scroll all the way down to the bottom. But then you finally get here with all the graphics cards and stuff there. So then after that, you're going to want to look for GTX 770M. Wherever it happens to be. I probably already passed it. Okay, here it is right here. So you're gonna wanna, and what, are you, what you're gonna wanna do next is copy this. And then you see there's a replace button. You replace that. And then, boom, you put that thing right there. And then, boom, you put that right there. And then for HP, the ID is 103C. So you're gonna replace that with that. And then this right here, this is where your motherboard ID goes for the HP Elite Book 8760W. It's 1630. So, 1630. Then we already got 11E0 in there, which is the ID for the GTX 770M. So then after you're done with that, you go ahead and you make sure that everything's right. You do replace all. And then after that, after you replaced it, you copy this line down below. You go to find it and then you do find next until you reach one of these right here and then from there you're going to want to copy that but you want to include the space in there afterwards because if you don't have the space in there my experience of editing things like this is that it doesn't work if you have the space in there so you copy that go to replace and then to get to this right here which we don't need that part right there but to get to this right here to see your hardware ID, you're going to want to go into uh, Device Manager. So we're in Device Manager, and we go to right here where it says Standard VGA uh, Adapter, underneath uh, Display Adapters, we go to Properties, Details, and then Hardware IDs, and then right here, this is the hardware ID that we want, so we copy that replace it with that and then we do replace all and then after that is done before you install your drivers you gotta make sure that your computer is in a is in disable driver enforcement but after that is done don't launch it from here because that's the mistake that I did so many times and that's why it's 548 p.m. now and I started this at 4 50 something I guess I think that's what it was and you go to here and you click setup and you can I cannot stress this that so you click setup from here you don't do it from there so you click it from here and you basically you go through the installation process as if you're going to install like normally like a graphics card and everything and if it's a successful video I'll go ahead and skip to the end and look at that, it finally found a graphics card. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, I guess I'll walk you guys through the installation process even though it's really not important and it's really easy to actually install graphics drivers once you're done with the editing. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, express. 
next oh my gosh look at those graphics cards that nobody can afford like if I bought one of those graphics cards I'd have to forget about eating I'd have to forget about getting gas I'd lose my job and I'd have to take out a loan so yeah I know it's, I'm not gonna buy those graphics cards so I'm gonna install a graphics driver and just for the sake of uh, like you guys probably being bored and watching a stupid bar go across the screen I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the end okay so in the installation process you might run into this so what you're gonna want to do is you know go ahead and use your common sense and you know, install this driver software anyways because it's your own and you made it safe and then okay here's another skip to the end and I, I probably said that I was gonna skip to the end like 36 times so then after that you know what's up next you gotta go ahead and restart your computer and uh, that's it after that's uh, done and everything just restart your computer and you're you're good to go so that's it that's uh, uh yeah I don't know how to properly end the video so yeah <laughs> bye